Hi, my name is Chaim, and this video is about the philosophy of our existence. So, I would like to first start off with the idea of a prism. What is a prism? Well, we can define a prism as a solid geometric figure whose two end faces are similar, equal, and parallel. Um, Rectilinear, rectilinear figures in whose sides are parallelograms. The lenses of our eyes are prisms. An object can be observed because of the light that reflects the object's surface. Passing through the prism or the lenses of our eyes, before Isaac Newton, it was believed that light was colorless and that the prism itself produced the color. Newton's experiments demonstrated uh, Newton's experiments demonstrated that all the colors already existed in the light in a heterogeneous in a heterogeneous fashion, and that the corpuscles or particles of light were fanned out because particles with different colors traveled with different speeds through the prism. It was only later that Young and Fresno combined Newton's particle theory with Huygens, if I said that correctly, with Huygens' wave theory to show that color is the visible manifestation of light's wavelengths. In order for the observer to see the reflection with or without a mirror, the light must be refracted through the lenses of the eyes. How is this done? When light passes from a lens, from a, when light passes from a less dense to a more dense medium, which is what happens when light, uh, when light that is traveling through the atmosphere hits a prism, and the speed of the and the speed of light slows down, the prism causes the light to bend, um, and uh, different wavelengths within the light bend different amounts. This means the light made up of several colors with different wavelengths is spread out so that each of the colors appear separated. So what's the relation so what relationship does refraction have with reflection? In order to understand the relationship, let's look at the relationship between a rainbow and a prism. Rainbows have no physical properties, though an argument could be made for them being made up of light. They are caused by the reflection and refraction of sunlight through water droplets in the atmosphere. The water droplets act as individual refractors and reflectors that split, um, what, you know, or also called reflect, or re refract, sorry, refract, and the light uh, the light into the respective colors of the rainbow. The refracted light is reflected off the back of the individual raindrop and then to the observer to observe. Um, rainbows always appear round because they are formed at a constant angle. The shape of something described by an arc, a constant distance away from a point, is a circle. So, the prism of our eyes make, makes the light appear as separate colors, or wavelengths. <laughs> so, the light that reflects an object is a manifestation of the object's different wavelengths. Therefore, when, in a, when we observe an object, such as another human being, we are seeing the manifestation of light itself. So, it is safe to say everything in existence is a light reflection, and because of the different wavelengths, we are able to have animation, just as a beam of light moves forward to its many wavelengths, because of its many wavelengths. Like a prison, humans reflect on things mentally and physically, and the result of the reflection is a spectrum of light, or a rainbow. In reality, the reflection is only the manifestation of the true existence, which is light itself. We are the manifestation of energy. Now, the question for the audience out there, 
uh, and who is watching this video, um, the question is, can we call energy in general God of the manifestations? Please leave your responses in the comment section below. Thank you very much. This has been a philosophical discussion of existence with Chaim. Have a nice day.